and to um, add some leaves to the volume we're going to copy some of these events here I'm going to copy those right click copy and paste them here and I'm going to rename these so it makes it a little easier for me to come back and change this later. Um, the position object here, uh, they're locating the leaves on the surface. So I'm going to right click and rename that to surface. And I'm going to right click on this one and rename that one to volume. And I want to send some of the particles, some of the leaves from this birth event over to this um, volume event here. Um, and to do that, I'm going to use a split amount. I'm just going to add that under birth. And uh, it's set at 50%. Uh, we'll, that's fine. We'll just link that to the volume. And of course, um, on the position object, here instead of surface we need to change this to volume and uh, it's not updating in the viewport um, sometimes uh, it doesn't do this if you go back to the birth amount and just make a, a small change it'll it'll show you what's happening um, okay um, I think maybe these leaves need to be a bit bigger so we need to remember if we if we're changing the size we need to change them in um, uh, both volume and um, and uh, surface here. If I go to this shape instance uh, uh, I'm guessing maybe a bit bigger and a little more variation and we'll do the same here and I think then they need we need to have more of them as well but we'll do some test renders to just to check that first. Um, so we're not getting a, a true representation remember in the viewport we're only seeing 50% here um, so I'll close the particle particle view I just want to um, add a V-ray plane just a surface object down there just to cast a shadow and see how that renders Okay, there we go. Um, I think this could probably do with a bit tweak, a bit of tweaking. Um, I'm not going to do much of that. I want to move on and show you um, how to convert this to a mesh. Um, but um, maybe if you changed, um, played with the scales of the leaves um, um, and the amount. And um, I think if this box, don't forget, if we move this box, it will automatically trim the uh, the trunks and branches for us as well. I think perhaps if it started a little a little higher up there um, you may you could chamfer the uh, edges of this box to give it a bit more of a uh, add a bit more realism um, but what what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to show you how to convert this um, to a V-Ray proxy but it's quite important at this stage that you save this file um, 
because now this file is um, at a point where everything we do uh, beyond this point will destroy the um, uh, the, the parametric um, the, the way the the way the box or the shape is changing the um, particle flow uh, and um, the way the branches are trimmed. So we're going to save this and um, this will be the starting point in the future when you want to um, create a different shape tree. We'll open this file at this point here um, and, you, and um, you'll be able to change it. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to File, Save As. Uh, I'm just going to click 2 and press the add so particle flow topiary 3 now this is the file that you'll open next time you want to create a, a different a different uh, shape tree um, and if, if for example I've just opened this um, file and I wanted to create um, uh, a different shape if I quickly choose another shape a, a sphere and I choose the box I'm going to use an edit poly and I'm going to delete the element the, the box there and then I'm going to add uh, attach rather the sphere now you can see it's moved the particle flow leaves over to the sphere but it's not trimming the uh, it's not trimming the trunk correctly so just move that there and then move it up you see it's it's kept all of the bits of the branch that I've asked it to keep I don't know if you remember I specified that some of that would be kept there we go so it's as simple as that basically that's not centered but next time you want to create a different shape tree you just you go to the box object um, you delete you, you add an edit mesh um, and then you delete the box and you add uh, the object um, and, and it will update it if I just hide the um, if I just hide everything else you can see there how it's trimmed the tree to the sphere as well okay well I'm going to open three again I don't save the changes want to go back to where the tree was uh, with the box um, and now to create a mesh of this um, uh, of the particle flow I'm going to go to create compound objects mesher and I'm going to create a mesher compound object there and it's important that this is at zero 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 in the scene so I'm going to right click these transform spinners here go to modify pick object and I'm going to choose a particle flow I press H PF source pick um, and uh, one thing uh, which could catch you out here and it's just caught me out is that um, in the viewport we're only seeing 50% of the total number of um, leaves that we specified in the particle flow system so if I just press H and I go back to the particle flow source and I change this to 100% particle flow will update and if I hide that now the mesh object will also update now I'm going to right click on the mesh object and convert to a mesh and we've just converted the particle flow system to a mesh so I'm going to choose that mesh object and the trunk And then I'm going to convert the trunk to an editable mesh as well. I'm going to go to attach and attach the leaves, and they'll they'll pick up um, the, the correct material because the leaf was uh, had a material ID two on. Uh, brilliant. And I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to go. I'm going to export it as a V-ray mesh, but you could export it at this point um, to a mental ray mesh as well. So V-Ray Mesh Export, I'm going to go to the uh, our project folder here, if I can find that, in my Dropbox. And I'm going to call it Tree01. I want to 
want to automatically create proxies. I don't need um, I don't need a huge high resolution preview really. Um, press OK, and it's converted the mesh now to a V-Ray proxy. Um, and now I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to Save Selected, so only the V-Ray proxy. And I'm going to call that, uh, I'm going to give it the same name as the V-Ray proxy. Here at Topiary Tree 01 V-Ray Mesh. Uh, but I'm saving that as a max scene. Save. Uh, and now I'm going to quit out of this scene without saving. I don't want to save uh, over uh, because I want to be able to open this up again um, when it's all still parametric. But if I just go to File, Open, I don't want to save the changes. And I open the topiary tree. Um, it'll bring in the um, well, there you go, there's a V-Ray mesh and it, it already has the material applied to it here um, and the way I'd use this is if I have a blank scene yes I really want to reset um, I would go to file import merge and then I would find uh, the scene with the V-Ray mesh in it open and merge that in uh, and now we have um, a tree, uh, V-Ray proxied with all the material um, applied to it, um, ready to render. Okay, so the next stage is we're going to look at um, creating a simple garden and then um, using this, uh, using the file, um, this file, particle flow 003, we're going to use that to create some uh, custom trees for it. <laughs>